Today I'm gonna make the famous Jamaican Solomon Gonde or Solomon Ogonde as some people say. And it's made from salted red herring, salted herring, smoked herring, whatever you want to call it. Smoked herring, in Jamaica we call it red herring when I was a youngster. I don't know what they call it now, but it's either smoke or red herring. So this is a spread that you can use on any crispy bread, biscuit or anything like that. Always crackers or toast, crispy bread. It's best with those. And especially the Jamaica Excelsior water crackers. That is perfect for it. So this is another easy one, just to get all the ingredients into the blender. And touch a button, pulse it away, and you have Solomon Gundy. So the ingredients you will see on the website, Cook Like a Jamaican, and it's a smoked herring, and vinegar, and you can see all these little goodies, oil, and onion, and scallion, and of course, it's got to have scotch body pepper. <laughs> I'm going to warm the vinegar with the pimento berries or allspice berries, whichever you want to call it. Warm, warm, it with the vin warm the vinegar with those in it, the berries and the sugar. So here's the allspice berries. And the sugar. And we got to warm that and make sure it, the sugar is dissolved. Not boil, do not boil the vinegar, we're just going to warm. As you know, the herring is salty. So it's either that you're going to have it soaking in cold water for a while before you use it in the Solomon Agonde, or you're going to boil it for 10 minutes to get, to get the salt out. Boil it for 10 minutes and rinse it in some cold water, which is what I did here. You don't want to get all the salt out. You gotta have some salt in it. All right, so that's the hair in there. So here we have the chopped onion and the scallion. I'm gonna add that to the blender. We have the dried thyme, thyme leaves. We have the oil. and the notorious scotch bonnet pepper. There we go. So we've got all the, um, the onion and scallion and all the other stuff I told you about and I'm going to turn the, the machine on. And just give it a little pulse. Angela, I'm going to add the herring and the vinegar with the pimento berries in. And the scotch bonnet is giving me a hard time. Okay, so let's put it all in. I think you're sensitive to scotch bonnet pepper. I think I am sensitive to pepper period. Now it's the moment of truth. We're gonna have it all blended together. So here we are with the finished product, Solomon Gundy. It's all blended up. But I use my old-fashioned blender, but a food processor will do a better job. So to all who have a food processor, please use it. You will get a better consistency. This is good, good, but I think, I have not used it, but I think it will give a better consistency in the meantime. But I'll tell you something, it is delicious, and um, all we need now, Angela, is some crackers. So, here's the Solomon Gundy, and it's served on the cr um, water crackers, which is traditional. And I'm going to have one, but I need a glass of wine as well. This goes well with alcohol. Anyway, forget the alcohol and enjoy. Have a go at it, and I'm sure you'll be pleased with the result, especially if you use one of the more modern machines. Hmm, 
just the right amount of pepper because you know I don't like pepper so go ahead and try it cook like a jamaican.com please Solomon Agamda cheers hello have you subscribed to our YouTube um, channel yet if not just press the button below and subscribe and you'll get more of our delicious recipes so do that and you'll be happy like I'm happy at the moment cooking for you all bye for now